Today we're going to be looking at some tennis rackets that have ceramic in their frame. Yes, that's right. Tennis rackets that have ceramic fiber in their frame. How do these compare to their graphite framed counterparts? We're going to look at that today on Retro Rackets Rediscovered. Welcome to Retro Rackets Rediscovered, the channel where we find old tennis rackets at thrift stores, rediscover the history of them, and test them out on the tennis court. Ceramic is a term used to describe silica carbide fibers. In the early 1980s, racket manufacturers were experimenting with different materials to incorporate into their graphite composite tennis rackets. A typical graphite composite tennis racket would be graphite with some fiberglass inlaid into the frame. Some other materials tried in that era was boron to increase the stiffness of the tennis racket, Kevlar, which added a mix of flexibility, and you see that most commonly in the Wilson Pro Staff. And finally, we had silica carbide fibers, or ceramic. Ceramic supposedly adds more density and power to the frame, while decreasing the amount of stiffness on the arm. Of course, this also depends on how the tennis racket frame is composed. These Wilson ceramics are made up of mostly graphite with about 8% of ceramic. And you have the Prince Spectrum Comp here, which is graphite, Kevlar, fiberglass, and ceramic built into the frame. So the manufacturers all went different ways about composing their rackets. For the most part, adding ceramic does cause the racket to feel softer on the arm and maybe even slightly heavier. I can attest to this with the Spectrum Comp here. And I've tested this and the Prince Graphite. This one feels softer on the arm while the graphite feels stiffer, but it also feels like it has more plow through. There's also a much different sound when hitting with the ceramic frame compared to the graphite frame. And if you notice with the four of these, if you have a ceramic tennis racket, it's most likely gonna be painted white for marketing purposes. I couldn't tell you why, but I do like the appearance of the white rackets. So the four I have here are the Prince Spectrum Comp 110. I've got two Wilson ceramics. One is much older. And this one here is the Tour 93. This one seems newer and it's also in much better shape than the other one. The head is also slightly bigger. And the last one I've got here is the Pro Canex Ceramic Challenger 90. And this one's pretty dang fun to play with, I'll tell you that. Some other ceramic rackets of the 80s include the Yamaha White Gold Series. Pro Kenex, some of the Silver Aces had ceramic uh, baked into the frame, and Dunlop had a few of the McEnroe rackets with ceramic in the frame. So these rackets I would say are very fun to play with, but they might not be the most arm friendly depending on how the vibration is in the tennis rackets. Supposedly the ceramic framed rackets, they cracked more often than their graphite framed counterparts. So that is something to look for if you are shopping for a used ceramic framed tennis racket. Nowadays, you won't find ceramic in modern tennis rackets, but the gifts from that era that they left us, they're very fun to play with. I've made a video showing off this print spec from Comp 110, but eventually I'll get around to booing some with these other ceramic rackets. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to Retro Rackets Rediscovered to never miss a new racket discovery.